To begin, select the new case icon from the home screen. Enter the required information in the patient Rx and choose the case type from the drop down menu. Tap on the scanning sleeve icon at the top of the screen to activate the wand. Begin by scanning the entire occlusal surface of the arch starting on the terminal molar. Steadily bring the wand toward the anterior surface. When you reach the bicuspid, continue across the anterior, tilting slightly to the lingual and at the contralateral bicuspid. Proceed by moving the tip straight back to the opposing terminal molar. Once you have reached the terminal tooth, rotate to the lingual. Bring the cable end of the wand out to the side and maintain a 45 degree angle of the wand tip to the lingual surface. After completing the lingual, rotate to the buckle and move towards the interior, being careful to capture the interproximal anatomy. Moving from posterior to anterior when scanning the buccal surface reduces the interference from the cheek and provides a smoother scanning experience. After the buckle, capture the incisal anatomy of the anterior by rolling over the cuspid and lateral or scanning across the incisal surface from cuspid to cuspid. These scans help to ensure that the lingual and buccal segments join the accurate incisal surfaces. Next. Use the same scanning sequence and technique to complete the upper arch. To scan the bite, have the patient open, retract the cheek with the wand, and have the patient close in tight centric occlusion. Place the wand against the teeth and center the occlusion in the viewfinder. Next, press the side button to start the scanner and in a wave-like motion move anteriorly, capturing three to four teeth and the upper and lower gingiva. This is a good time to evaluate the model to ensure that all necessary anatomy has been captured. At this point, additional scans can be added by going back to scanning mode. If this is an Invisalign scan, confirm that all areas of missing anatomy are filled. When scanning, the hand that is not holding the wand should be used to fulcrum and retract the soft tissue. To capture the distal of the terminal tooth, place the wand on the occlusal surface of the terminal molar. Have the patient partially close and shift their lower jaw toward the side being scanned as you roll the wand to the buccal surface. Next, swing the cord end of the wand out towards the cheek. To capture the interproximal surfaces in patients with crowding, use a twisting motion as you bring the wand around the lingual surface of the arch and a rocking motion as you bring the wand around the buccal surface of the arch.